Exactly. NASDAQ is up 18% so far this year. FANG stocks and Microsoft among the names in the index higher for the year. For more on what to do now and what opportunities he's finding in the recent tech rally, let's bring in Dan Niles. He's founding partner of Alpha One Capital Partners. Dan, welcome back to the show. I believe you, you were positioned for a recovery in stocks, which we have seen, and concentrated in technology. Give us a sense of which names have worked for you and, and what you're doing with them now that we've seen such a strong run-up. Yeah, I mean, I think during the first quarter, going into the first quarter, we were positive on trends like e-commerce and gaming, et cetera. And during the pandemic, those trends just got stronger. You accelerated two years' worth of uh, growth into two months, essentially, for a lot of these companies. And quite honestly, looking forward, we're sort of sticking with the same trends. Where we're making changes is the way we are sizing them. So, you know, we put out a tweet on June 29th, how we were making Facebook bigger when it got hit off the advertising worries. Some other stocks we've made smaller as they've run up more. And then we've looked at more recovery plays. But I think from here to the end of the year, the gaming companies, Activision, EA, Zynga, those are the names that we like the best because you have the first brand new consoles for Microsoft and Sony coming out in seven years. And so I think that's going to drive this through the holiday quarter. So that's kind of how we're positioned with a lot of shorts in the Mach 4, as we like to call it, malls, airlines, cruise lines, and hotels, where we've ramped those up after not being short any of them a few weeks ago. All those gaming stocks are higher. You didn't list Apple in your short position, which you often have, it's been a juggernaut. It goes up every day. Amazon's up 3%. How do you think about the valuations for some of these companies and, and whether they deserve this re-rating that they're getting? Yeah, I mean, I think our last position in Apple, actually, we were long it and we got rid of it. Um, the valuation, Sarah, I think you bring up a really important point because valuation to me is a measure of risk. So if you look at March of 2009, which was the last time things looked you know, this dire, market cap to GDP was 0.6 times. Today, it's at 1.6 times. And that's an all-time you know, record high. And the average over 50 years is 0.8. So the valuations have gone up a lot. And so that's why we're sort of tailing back a little bit in terms of the weightings of a lot of our big tech stocks. Like we own Amazon, but we don't own as much of it as we did early. Um, you know, and... For some of the other names we've gotten out of them, like Zoom, we used to own it. We're out of that one. Um, and But we're buying cheaper names where we go, well, we think automotive is recovering. And so we're looking at some of the semiconductor names that are heavily levered towards automotive and industrial, and which are trading much better in the sense they're a lot cheaper and they aren't up for the year. And so that's how we're trying to reposition the portfolio to manage on days like today. I mean, we're making money today, which is great because as you said, the video game stocks are up, but our Mach 4 shorts are getting just absolutely crushed. And so the shorts are helping against obviously a bunch of the longs we have, which are down. And so I think balance and resizing your positions daily is kind of critical in times like this, because as you pointed out, valuations are pretty high. The, those Mark IV shorts that you mentioned, typically the, the kind of cyclical stocks, why did you up the shorts on them uh, a couple of weeks ago. I mean, clearly their valuation was already low relative uh, to the market. So, so why did you up the, uh, the, the, the level of shorts you had in them? Yeah, that's a great question, Wilfred. I mean, this is the way you need to think about it, is how do you view malls, airlines, cruise lines, and hotels? So I think once the economy recovers and we get a vaccine, et cetera, I mean, if you talk to a lot of CEOs, people are not going to be traveling as much. You know, Zoom, we're doing this call over Zoom for example, um, you're going to be using uh, remote learning, remote working. My kids aren't going back to college come the uh, September quarter. They'll be doing that online. And so a lot of those trends are going to continue. And so those Mach 4 names, malls, airlines, cruise lines, hotels, they're still going to you know, have some issues, I think, beyond this. And quite honestly, like malls, they were already having troubles before this. And so that's a way to kind of balance out longs that you have. We didn't have these shorts on three or four weeks ago because they, they doubled from the bottom, which made sense because the Fed took away bankruptcy risk. Now that a lot of them have doubled from the bottom or up 50 percent, we're like, the airlines still have issues. So let's go back in and reshort them or the malls, et cetera. And so it's, it's a timing thing. And you have to be very aggressive with trading these names to, to avoid getting buried on a short rally 
but then putting them back on to hedge the rest of your lawns when you think they've run up a lot. 